Rashid Muhammad Sharifuddin bin Mulmuhidin. So my number metric is 81329. So today I'm going to talk about Mars model. Mars model was designed by Dr. Mary Ann von Linov and Dr. Stephen McShane. There are four main components in Mars model, which are motivation, ability, world perception, and situational factors. All these four components are factors that are capable to influence individuals' behavior. For this interview, we interviewed Mr. Muhammad Azhari bin Abu Bakr. He is 40 years old. He graduated from three universities, which are International Islamic University of Asia, University of Uttar Malaysia, and University of Malaysia Sarawak. He served as lecturer at UNIMAS for 50 years. He started his service since 2007. He is a suitable candidate for our interview as he is a working adult and we don't have any family relationship with him. My name is Pani Maria Anna Parampan and Chilean with the metric number 82087. Now I will talk about the motivation factor in the Mars model. Motivation in an organization refers to the positive state of mind that drives you to achieve your objective. As for Inja Azhari, his driving force to do his job as an educator stems from his love for the field of psychology. He explained that he really loved psychology the moment he took this course during his undergraduate phase and decided to further excel in this field. That is why he wanted to do well in this job as he wants to teach many other students the wonder of psychology. Aside from that, he also said that he wanted to be an example for his siblings and wanted to provide his family just like any other elder son would do. In my opinion, his love for his family and also the field of psychology is what helps him to be a great educator in this field. Right, on to the next one. Another aspect of Mars model is the ability. Ability refers to an individual's capacity to perform tasks in a job. It can be physical ability or intellectual ability. Mr. Azhari's occupation as a lecturer means that it requires less of a physical ability and more of intellectual ability. This includes reasoning, memory, verbal comprehension, and uh, decision-making and perhaps emotional intelligence especially as he is a psychology lecturer that is all from me Assalamualaikum, my name is Amal Alim bin Mohamed Mervin Dublin with the mutual number 7857 and all gives me name about rule perceptions so basically rule perceptions are a set of beliefs regarding behaviors that are needed to be performed to this to achieve a desired outcome. It is also um, used to give employees a clear understanding of their part in the organization. So the criteria for role perceptions are to understand the role or the position that they hold, um, to understand the importance of the job they are performing. And last but not least, it is to give employees um, a picture of the required behavior needed by the employees to perform the job in a specific uh, demeanor. My name is Namdawani Anna Parampan Manimara. Today I'm going to discuss about situational factors. Situational factors often referred as external factors that always occur around surrounding us. According to the interview, if Mr. Azari experienced any emotional states, such as sadness or anger, he will often find a way to overcome it. He always question whether it is rational or not. Once the problem or emotion is identified, he will always find a rational solution to overcome it. Apart from that, Mr. Azari also knows how long will the emotional last and it will help him to identify it to overcome the solutions by addressing the issues. Apart from that, he also often seeks help from his wife to resolve it. In my opinion, I believe, the way he overcome the problem demonstrates the level of commitment to his organizations, the level of engagement, as well as the ability to overcome and solve the problems. <laughs>